way back from our first shakedown cruise. Uh, shakedown cruises are important because, you know, we use the boat during the winter, but when you do a, like a full outing and make sure that all the systems are working and that we're totally set, invariably something will break over the winter and we need to address it. And, uh, hey, we did pretty well. Nothing broke. No. No. But we added a new thing. Yes. We did add something, and it would be something innocuous that you would think, well, if you add, I don't know, say a new mattress to the boat, yeah. that can't cause any problems, can it? We'll check this out. <laughs> so here's our chart plotter, and one thing that you'll notice is all of this orange is the radar overlay. Uh, another thing you'll notice is the blue line, which is our actual course heading is correct, but the boat thinks that the heading, well, it's off about 40 degrees. And if you look at our radar up here, it's doing the same thing. The radar is showing correctly. However, it believes our course heading is off. You see this line? It's incorrect. And everything is correct and reflective of <laughs> reality on the screen, except for this heading line. And one would scratch your head, why would that all of a sudden change in the middle of the season? Well, let me show you. Coming down to the master stateroom, uh, this is where the heading compass is for the, uh, well, for the autopilot and, and all the systems. And it's underneath this bunk because it's a great center line and it doesn't have any interference like metal or those types of things around it. I'll show you what that looks like. So here's that compass underneath the bunk, and it's functioned great for four years since we put it in and upgraded it. No issues whatsoever. However, there is one thing that we did change this off season. And this is what we changed this season, this mattress. We decided to upgrade it. Uh, the one that we had was pretty comfortable, but my shoulders kept going to sleep because I'm getting old. And, uh, well, getting old, my shoulders hurt when I sleep. So we upgraded the mattress to see if we could take care of that. Um, put an inner coil uh, mattress in it that also has a hinge in the middle of it, which is pretty cool because that means we can get into our spares underneath the bunk as well as be able to clean the air conditioning handler that's underneath the bunk as well. There's a screen there that picks up lint, mostly from the, the dryer that runs here. Just a little bit of lint gets out of it and sucks it in there. And you have to clean that thing out once a month, if not more often. And you may have just caught on to something that I said. We put an inter-spring mattress in. Super comfortable. Sleep like a baby. My shoulders don't hurt anymore. But guess what? Yeah. That compass, um, although it's the newer one, it's not the old flux uh, compass for heading that was really fussy about metal, but this one's all jacked up because, well, it has springs sitting right above it. The metal has thrown the compass off 100%, or not 100%, 40%, but everything's all jacked up. So who would have thought putting in a new mattress uh, was going to jack up our autopilot and heading and everything else on our electronics? Well, I should have known that. It's logical, it makes total sense. Dumb move on my part. Now it's time to fix it. All right, so first of all, to deal with this problem, start looking for workarounds. We need our essential tools. What are those? Those are side cutters. We have some bits for an impact, just in case I need to unscrew some things, and painter's tape. I love this stuff. Tape, idiot. So here's what we did. I have gone through and I took that compass out of its mount that's too close to the mattress with our coil springs that we talked about. I snipped all of the uh, zip ties that were holding the wiring harness and then I, <laughs> I put the compass uh, away from the mattress. This is about two and a half feet, should be about enough, hopefully, fingers crossed. And then I taped this compass to the floor of what is basically a drawer that goes underneath the main bunk to see if I can get far enough away from the interference. And then you're probably asking, John, are you clowning us? You were saying that metal causes problems for these compasses and it's jacking the whole thing up. And I see a lot of metal right in front of our face. Well, that's aluminum. 
this is a navigator and the entire structure of navigators are all welded box aluminum makes it a super rigid boat love this thing however it has no magnetic properties being aluminum therefore it does not interfere with the compass and once we see if this works fingers crossed then i'll be able to remount this compass underneath this drawer which has enough clearance and hopefully our problem will be solved but first we need to go back to the helm and see if, well, this even works. All right, that looks better. Not perfect, but at least the boat's going in the same direction that uh, we're actually headed on our course, which means we just need to probably calibrate this a little bit more, but we're on the right track. <laughs> All right, so we're back down here. I had to use a hole saw to drill a hole in this area so they can thread the cable down through it. Uh, I've gone up and I've checked to make sure that our headings are accurate. Everything looks good. There's no interference from any of these screws or anything like that. And now I need to screw this plate down underneath the drawer. I've got plenty of clearance so I can put the, the, uh, the drawer back in. And then after we get back to the dock, I will tidy up all of these wires. All right, so we snap the top back on. Let's go check with Carlin, see what she's seeing at the helm. And we calibrated it a touch, and look at us. All of our heading is correct. Just crossed the US border, so now we need to give a call. The Coast Guard, correct? Yep. Let's do it. So it may not have made complete sense when I talked about a hinge in the middle of this new mattress, but I'll give you a demonstration. So this mattress now we can flip up because like I said, it's got a hinge right here in the middle. Believe it or not, when you sleep on this thing, you can't feel it. But why would you want to put a hinge in? Well, underneath our hypervent, which stops mattresses from sweating um, and getting mildew here, because when your body moisture goes into these mattresses and you don't have this to breathe, it's terrible. Uh, when you flip this up, this compartment here on a Navigator 48, if you have air conditioning, has our air handling unit for the air conditioning and the, the heating. And it has a little screen here that uh, gets lint in it. That's not that bad, actually. Sometimes it looks like uh, you could make a quilt out of it. But we just get our handy dandy Dyson and we just vacuum that up and put it all back together. And I have to tell you, this is a lot easier being able to hinge this out before we had to lift up the mattress and shove it off the side of the bunk. Um, and this is just much easier. So well worth it after we relocated our compass. Good news, they let us back in the country. Yay. Let's just be able to put this video together and shoot it back right out to you. Peace, see you next week.